Hey, good morning, folks. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Welcome to the MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. And all I can say is, wow, what a great stretch of weather coming. A little something for everybody. Some of you are craving the taste of fall. A little bit of that in the mornings and a couple of the afternoons. Some of you don't want to let go to summer and uh, quite a bit of that in this uh, weather situation too. So let's get to it. Hey, what do we got going on today? Shaping up to be a beautiful day. We still have high clouds in the southeast part of the state, but from Grand Rapids to Saginaw northward, all clear skies and looking gorgeous. And the southeast will get in on that clearing also. It's a pretty short MLI morning weather update. Uh, this morning, I have to be honest with you, because there's not a whole lot going on, and we can take that. We can handle that, can't we? So, here we go. This is the uh, European model, showing that today we will have dry weather, maybe aside from an isolated shower in the thumb, but otherwise dry weather, light winds, low humidity, comfortable temperatures. This is tomorrow. Tomorrow is a great looking day too. You don't see any of the green blobs, the red blobs. Uh, you don't see many of the black lines. The black lines are basically the pressure lines that make the wind. And then we go into Friday. Uh, a weather system, a weak dying wind shift uh, coming across the UP. But this is Friday afternoon. All of lower Michigan looks great. And this is Friday late afternoon into evening. The showers could creep up into uh, Traverse City and Manistee and Ludington and uh, the tip of the mitt up toward the bridge, Mackinac Bridge, eastern part of the UP. Then overnight Friday night, those showers just kind of die off and we get to Saturday morning. And here's Saturday morning into early afternoon. Still maybe some showers in the far southern part of the state drying out. So it'll be real brief rains on uh, Saturday. Here's Sunday. Ooh, Sunday is a stellar day. Sunday is a almost like a August 1st type day. Yeah, that's what we'll call Sunday, August 1st. Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Pat Mullen and Michael Deripa and Pixie Pinkton. Good morning to you. Lori Hensler, thanks for watching. You're watching the MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. Uh, we're in a Monday of next week and we are still warm. We are into a southerly flow. We're into Wednesday of next week. And so uh, no real threat for showers until Wednesday or Thursday of next week. And a cool down is going to be definitely, uh, definitely hard to find. All right, let's look at temperatures. And like I said, this is part of the wow factor in this weather pattern. Now today's comfortable in the low 70s in a lot of places, upper 60s, far northern Michigan. Tomorrow's just a touch warmer, but still comfortable. Eric Leighton loves the extended weather, extended summer. Yes, a lot of folks are. Uh, this is Thursday, you know, mid to upper 70s. This is Friday, back to the low 80s. Saturday, maybe just a touch cooler as that frontal system ekes southward. Then Sunday uh, into the upper 70s. Monday back well into the 80s and Tuesday well into the 80s. And Wednesday still some 80s around. And Thursday trying to cool a touch. And finally by Friday, so 10 days out before we even get a taste of somewhat cooler weather, and it probably won't last long. Here's the Climate Prediction Center's long range forecast, six to 10 day temperature forecast. There it is, a strong chance of warmer than normal conditions. That is for uh, September 20th to 24th. And let's keep going. Uh, the eight to 14 day forecast, September 22nd to 28th, still looking for warmer than normal conditions. So we'll have just a, a taste of fall 
here and there. You might get a hint of it in the morning where it's a little cool. You might get a couple of afternoons where it's a touch cool in the upper 60s. But otherwise, it's actually going to feel like summer more days than fall. So we'll take it if you're a summer fan and you want summer to live on. You've got your wish. And thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Have yourselves a great Wednesday.